Welcome back and thanks for watching. I'm Alicia and this is my channel. I'll bring to you makeovers and much more. Today's video is of a little girl's room makeover. My dear friend recalled I had a beautiful young niece when she was thinking of donating a custom little girl's bedding set. The bedding set was very good quality and was originally used to stage a model home. I told my friend that I would be interested in the bedding and all the accessories as shown. However, I would just need to verify with my niece's parents to make sure it was okay. My niece's parents thought it was a generous offer and accepted that I would take a couple of days to change out my niece's room. Along with the room, I thought it would also be nice to update the closet. I requested a few pictures of the room and closet and the measurements. These are the pictures they sent on the fly of the room and the furniture placement. The furniture would remain in the room, but they were open to rearranging the layout. The room closet was generous. It had a single row of hanging space and two wooden shelves above. So I gathered items I thought I would need. I sourced out supplies and I went with a wire closet system, something that could easily be changed with my niece's needs as she grows older. So this is the end product. As you can see, the furniture did get moved around a bit. Uh, we moved the bed and the two dressers. And this was at the recommendation of my niece, who was very hands-on the entire time. I don't think I would have been able to get it done as quickly as we did if it were not for her going through her items, purging down. She was excited about the process. She retained the things that she loved um, and we really were able to organize her in a way that she could really utilize the room. So we raised the bed about three or four inches to provide her with storage and which is seasonal or shoes under the bed. We also gave her that bookshelf and we added some hooks there so she could display the jewelry that she makes. Um, talented young lady who loves a lot of different hobbies and has a lot of different talents and skills. So this room for her, we wanted it to be inspirational, something that she could come in and sit down and be creative. She could enjoy the space and really take ownership of it per se, as far as keeping it clean and keeping it tidy and respecting it. So she's doing an excellent job, certainly proud of her. Here you can see in the closet, we added a few pieces of um, the closet system where you can have the pullout for your hats and scarves and any other accessories. We added a second row of hanging um, where we placed her pants. So her jackets, all her long hanging, everything had a place. So really pleased with the room. I hope that you enjoyed it. I think my niece really enjoys it and I think my um, brother and sister are happy with it also. So thanks for watching again. Please watch it to the end. Please like, subscribe, share it with someone. Um, and I hope that this room or just knowing that what you could do with donated or hand-me-down or gently used items inspires you to kind of take on a different task or repurpose something that still has a lot of life left in it. Again, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.